The Trento police force has arrested 54 people presumed to have sold drugs to young tourists frequenting discos and pubs in Moena, Cavalese and Canadze during weekends and skiing holidays. In the last few months, 30 people have already been arrested, having been caught in the act, while a further 24 were arrested recently. The drugs ring, providing mostly hashish and heroin, was apparently managed by three bands, who would also have appeared to have pushed drugs in Trento, among other places. 70% of the criminals were North Africans with no fixed abode and criminal records, while two men from Trentino were also arrested, a 42-year-old from Rovereto and a 40-year-old from Trento. After a week of prevention, the municipal police in Rovereto have begun to apply the order issued by the mayor, which bans begging but does not punish street artists. The municipal government has decided to ban begging in some areas of the city. Two days after the municipal law came into force, five people have already been stopped. The fine for those discover begging outside supermarkets, cemeteries and churches or in the historic centres of Rovereto, Lizzana, Lizzanella and Sacco goes from 25 to 500 euro. Since last Monday, the streets of Rovereto and surrounding areas seem to have been free of people asking for charity. The Constitutional Court's decision on the appeal by some gay couples to obtain the right to get married has been postponed until after Easter, the issue of gay marriage thus returning once again to the fore. The question has been raised for some time by homosexual associations, which have made the issue into a battle for civil rights. In Trentino, Enrico Oliari, president of Gay Lib, who hopes to marry his partner, Lorenzo, in a civil ceremony, is awaiting the decision of the court. After the deferment decided by the court, many positive comments have arrived. According to various associations, the court has wisely decided to make its ruling after the regional elections, thus avoiding the pressure of the electoral campaign. In 2009, 13 Italian regions accumulated a 3.4 billion euro deficit for health services. Of this region, albeit a long way behind the other back markets, there is also the autonomous province of Trento, with a deficit of 8.662.000 euro. The figures were revealed in a study of health costs published in Il Sole 24 Ore, which shows that the items weighing most heavily on the balance sheet were staffing, goods and services. The deficit is the result of the difference between assets and liabilities, namely income and costs. Between 2003 and 2008, Trentino accumulated a health deficit of €41,525,000, whereas Alto Adige kept almost €91 million in the provincial coffers. It's time to wait up the activities of Animazione Imprenditoriale, an initiative started up five years ago by Trentino Sviluppo. The project has seen more than 2,350 participants during up almost 200 business plans and started up 100 new business enterprises. In order to implement the project, 174 promotional evenings were organized in the same number of municipalities. The scope was to create micro-businesses, starting from the outskirts, away from the area of the Adige. The heads of Trentino Sviluppo launched Animazione Imprenditoriale, establishing it alongside additional activities in the property market. For the project managers, the initial results represent a sign of faith. Thanks to a woman from Merano who appealed against a fine received as the result of a speed camera in Lagundo Alto Adige, it would appear that some municipalities in Alto Adige must return 5 million euro coming from illegitimate fines to motorists. However, the municipalities apparently do not intend to do so, and Lagundo is also not contemplating reimbursing the people fined. The question is particularly delicate, and the Consumer Protection Center has decided to launch an offensive, preparing the first class action in Alto Adige. In the meantime, those who receive fines due to speed cameras between 2005 and 2006 in the municipality of Enya and Lagundo can contact the center to provide their details.